Hey guys, this is Dave with Whitetail Obsession Outdoors. In today's video, I'm going to sit down and talk with you guys for a few minutes to discuss how working in the hunting industry has changed my life. Not only has it changed my life, but it can also change your life as well. i first like to start out by saying that this video is not to brag in any sort of way. It's more of a motivational type video due to the amount of questions that I get regarding you know, hunting, filming hunts, working in the hunting industry, and so forth. Uh, in the comments below, let me know if you guys currently film hunts, work in the outdoor industry, or if you have any suggestions on other videos that you would like to see. So with that said, when I first started filming hunts, um, I had, I'm not a professional videographer, or photographer, or nothing like that. I literally, when I first started filming hunts, I had zero, zero experience working a video camera, even really working a cell phone. Um, I was on social media, but you know, just hunting in general, um, not really working per se, you know, promoting a certain product or, you know, working with certain people or certain companies or anything like that. It was literally all new to me. Um, I basically learned from scratch is what I'm trying to say. And I know that it seems like, you know, when you see people on television or something like that, a lot of those people, um, you know, have a background in photography or videography. And the majority of cases is just, that's just not true. A lot of those guys just learn, you know, through the process of, you know, basically self-taught. Obviously there are some people out there that have mentors, you know, and have been taught how to video and take pictures and things like that. But majority of the times those guys are pretty much self-taught and that's pretty much how I came up through it was, you know, self-taught, you know, video and taking pictures. And by all means, I'm not a professional, you know, I'm still not a professional. Nowhere near there's guys out there way better that can film hunts and anything like that. But the key to all of this, I believe, is consistency. So when you're consistent in anything in life, you're going to have rewards with that. Whether that's, you know, if you guys want to start a YouTube channel, you, know, you have to be consistent with it. If you're telling people that you're going to post a video on Monday night at 7 p.m., you have to post a video at Monday night at 7 p.m. Some people, especially your subscribers on YouTube, are waiting for you for that video. If you miss a day or you skip something like that, a lot of those times them subscribers, they'll just go someplace else. So the key with anything like that, working in the hunting world, anything in life, honestly, is consistency. So when I first started out filming, I um, literally had no idea what to do. I just bought some cameras. Um, you know, Best Buy camera, like $300 camera, nothing real special, film 1080p, you know, HD, little handy cam, and started filming hunts, and I really started to enjoy it. Not to the point of, you know, not filming prior to this, but, you know, just hunting, I love hunting, whether I was filming or not filming, but before I got into all this, you know, it was just an excitement that I had, and when I started filming hunts, it just brought this extra excitement to it to where it's like unexplainable. You can just go through, you know, rewatch your hunt. It's helped in so many ways. A lot of times people will, you know, trash talk people that try to film their hunts. Well, what you guys don't realize is filming hunts have helped thousands of people, you know, recover their animal. It's helped in multiple cases, you know, you can replay your footage, you can play it back in slow motion, you can see where the shot was, you know, deciding whether to leave the woods and come back or, you know, whether you can, you should track that animal right away. It's helped in so many ways. Not only has it helped with that, but, you know, I look forward to, you know, 30, 40 years down the road to replay all of this footage, you know, for me being young and, you know, all this other stuff and show, you know, if I have kids one day or, show my nieces or my family, you know, we can look back on it 40 years from now and say, oh, you know, this was cool. I filmed this animal or, you know, this was cool. You know, let's rewatch this. So with all that said, a lot of times you guys will send me messages like, oh, you know, I want to film hunts or I want to start a YouTube channel or something like that. Well, by all means, start. Don't wait. Just start. Get some content out there. Buy a video camera. Go out there and film some hunts. Now, what this has brought to me, and again, I'm not bragging in any sort of way. This is a motivational type video. I have learned so much from doing what I do, filming hunts, you know, working with some companies, 
promoting certain products that I believe in. Um, I have learned so much about this. Um, and I can think of negatives, you know, in the hunting industry, but there's also positive, the positive outweigh the negatives. I have gained so many friends in the hunting world through social media, trade shows, uh, some of the companies that I work with. I have also gained a very good friend and I consider him a mentor, uh, Jeff, the owner of Antler Grow. He's helped me out so much with certain, t certain things and really, honestly, like kind of like life in general, really. So I've gained a mentor, gained a, f a really good friend. You know, we work very well together and I just can't wait to see, you know, many more, your, uh, many more years down the road to see what the future brings with that. But um, there's just so many good companies out there that if you are consistent with your content, if you are consistent and you're a good person, you're not on social media, you know, drinking beer, you know, posting about drugs and, you know, partying up and everything. You don't want to put that on social media. I've seen that so many times and people, you know, lose their, you know, if you have a contract or something with that company, they'll just boot you. You can't be doing that. But with the questions that you guys have asked over the course of, honestly, really several months, it's been a lot, you know, anybody can do this. Um, anybody. Buy a camera, be consistent, film hunts, get some con content out there and start emailing the companies because the rewards from doing this, I'm telling you guys, it's very beneficial. Um, it'll change your whole thought, press, pro uh, thought process about hunting in general and you'll gain so many friends and you'll gain you know respect and you'll be able to look back on this 40 years from now and say, you know what, I did that, or I created that, or I filmed this, or I was able to do this, or I was able to do that. I'm telling you guys, the rewards outweigh the negatives. Hopefully you guys found this video beneficial to you. Again, not bragging, uh, just motiv trying to motivate you guys with the amount of questions that I do get uh, pretty much on a regular basis, but get out there, get a camera, you know, send, you know, if you want opinions on, you know, some film equipment, uh, you want opinions on your footage, send it to me, you know, send me a message, send me an email, I'll look at your footage um, and tell you what I think about it, you know, interact and uh, within the hunting community and you guys will find success. If you guys could do me a huge favor and uh, drop a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss any more videos. Until next time guys, I'll see you.